Uh, keep going to chapter 7. Here's one that's, that's even more pointed for us. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and I have to end on this one. It says in 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 5, Do not deprive one another except with consent. This is talking to married couples. For a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Satan uses temptations to inflame our lusts at every level. Now the context of this is it's saying that a happily married couple that are believers understand the fact that, that the man's body belongs to his wife and the wife's body belongs to the man and they have a biblical ongoing, as the book of Proverbs describes, delightful sexual relationship. Now, for them to go into a period of fasting and praying, they would say we're going to stop all pleasant things in our life to totally focus our hearts and minds in this prayer. And that was allowable. It was a unique, rare, short-term thing. But Paul says, look at verse 5. He says, don't deprive one another except for this specified time. Don't withhold your sexual love for one another except for a brief time if you are married so that you can come back together don't don't be apart too long or Satan will tempt you because all of us have a natural inclination for a lack of self-control in the area of the lust of the flesh lust of the eyes and the pride of life so what he's saying is watch out don't consciously allow Satan to tempt you Satan works as a co-conspirator with our flesh he has power to cause our flesh to be tempted temptation is our flesh longing to be satisfied as it says in 1 John 2, do you remember the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, the pride of life? Satan wants us either by the craving of our bodies chasing pleasure. That's what the lust of the flesh is. Our bodies crave pleasure. There, there is this insatiable desire for pleasure within the human body. It's called the lust of the flesh. Or the longing of our eyes chasing possessions. There's this fascination in some uh, for parts of our flesh for things and for how they look and we want them and we see something and we want it remember Achan was willing to, to have his whole family stoned and destroyed because he wanted certain clothes and some money he was willing to be destroyed people have this insatiable desire chasing possessions thirdly there's the pride of life that's the boasting of our heart and mouth chasing status we, we are proud and we want to promote ourselves beware of playing with temptation lest Satan catch you in his trap especially in the realm of sexual temptation as noted in verse 5 Satan very clearly tempts us sexually repent of playing with temptation ask Jesus to deliver you from all evil in your life and take the escape he makes from you as you cry out to him for help because Satan wants to rev up the lusts of our flesh the lusts of our eyes and the pride of life so if you have the lust of the flesh then unlike my friend in seminary don't go to the beaches and be desensitized don't go to the places where you see don't go to the movies where you see that if you're tempted by things don't get the endless catalogs and the better whatever and whatever's and don't go to the mall and wish you had all that stuff and if you're tempted by boasting then don't constantly get in situations where you get to show off all your stuff cry out to the Lord and ask him to let you take the escape well we will see starting in 2nd Corinthians 2 there are many other ways Satan attacked believers but what's the answer to all this back where we started 2nd Corinthians 10 Do you know what we're supposed to do we're supposed to bring every thought into captivity to Christ before we close I want you to think about how to do that in your life is there any part of your life that makes your thoughts go off away from God is there anything that makes you not want the Word of God is there anything that, that just just makes you go into a zero brainwave for God then that's what you have to say Lord I don't want my mind captivated by that music by that media by that movie by that activity by those places by those people I want to bring my thoughts my life my all into captivity for Christ I want you to ask the Lord what part of my mind is unguarded from that unseen but dangerous Satan what areas have I allowed him to devour? And let's give that back to the Lord.